It is time to bring you some of our top headlines at this hour. Starting with Capital One, it will pay $210 million to settle a government probe that it used deceptive marketing tactics. This is the first major fine handed out by the new Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. The bureau says Capital One's vendors use deceptive marketing tactics to mislead new credit card customers into paying for add-on products such as payment protection and credit monitoring. Bank of America has posted a profit of $2.5 billion in the second quarter. However, the bank was also hit with record demands for refunds on faulty mortgages. Those demands jumped more than $6 billion from the previous quarter to more than $22 billion. CEO Brian Moynihan also announcing $3 billion in cost cuts in investment banking, commercial lending, and wealth management. And in international news today, a bomb attack at Syria's national military headquarters has killed at least four key members of President Bashar al-Assad's inner circle, an attack that has prompted the U.S. to warn that the crisis there is spinning out of control. The dead include Syria's defense minister and a top general who was also Assad's brother-in-law. The attack coming days after heavy fighting on the streets of Damascus between rebels, of course, and Assad's forces.